A hundred years ago, kids had never dreamed of becoming astronauts. But today, children around the world are inspired to find their way into space. But in order to inspire the generations of today, somebody had to go first. And as a mountaineer and a West Virginian, Katherine Johnson helped to achieve what we thought was impossible, to help fuel the creativity and the young minds of today. Born August 26th of 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Katherine Johnson showed an immense aptitude for mathematics and academics and began high school at the early age of 10. And under the mentoring of William Claytor, she received specialized coursework and graduated at the age of 14. She attended West Virginia State College in 1937 and pursued a degree in mathematics and French. After graduating, she became a teacher in Virginia at an all-Black school before receiving an invitation as one of the first three Black students to be invited to West Virginia University's master's program, where she was allowed to pursue a master's degree in mathematics. Sadly, when discovering she was pregnant, Katherine Johnson dropped out after the summer term to raise her family. After a return to teaching in 1939, Katherine Johnson took time to raise her three daughters. She continued to teach until she was invited to join the West Area Computing Section of the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, where she analyzed the data on flight tests and provided support for crucial research. In 1958, NASA was created, and Katherine Johnson, along with engineers she had worked with at NACA, joined NASA together. She describes this time as a time when computers wore skirts, referring to the significant number of women who, without their help, spaceflight would not have been possible. As a NASA computer, Katherine Johnson's calculations made possible many of NASA's greatest accomplishments of the early 1960s. This includes the 1961 Freedom 7 mission, which put the first American astronaut in space, and the 1962 Friendship 7 mission, which put John Glenn in the first orbit around the Earth. Reportedly, John Glenn said, if she says the numbers are good, I'm ready to go. Referring to Katherine Johnson, in his mistrust of the computer systems at the time, would only rely on Katherine Johnson to confirm the numbers and put him into orbit. She continued her work through the Apollo 11 missions and other initiatives such as Landsat, which she would consider one of her finest accomplishments. And after 33 years of service at Langley, she retired in 1986 with a record-breaking co-authored 26 research reports. And as the first woman and the first black woman to be a part of NASA's computing, she broke records. After such a legendary career, Katherine Johnson's success went unacknowledged for decades. But in the past 10 years, her accomplishments have started to shine. Most recognizable, the 2016 release of Hidden Figures, both the movie and the novel, helped to shoot her accomplishments into the public eye. And at the Academy Awards for the movie Hidden Figures, Katherine Johnson received a standing ovation at the age of 98 and a half. She was also awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2015 by Barack Obama. And in biographical literature, such as My Remarkable Journey and Reaching for the Moon, her life story and lessons are encoded so that the children, youth, and adults of today can take lessons from her life story. Sadly, she died February 24th of 2020 at 101 years old. A true loss for such a wonderful contributor and a significant member of the world that we live in today.